What I'm going to show you in this video is how to control Square Online item visibility from the Square dashboard. So what we'll do is go over to items and you can either select an item that you want to change or I'm going to create a new item right here. And then I can change the item type if I want or enter all my details, whatever details we need to enter. But what we really want to look at is down here toward the bottom are where it's sold. And this is our Square Online sites. So this is my demo account. So I have a bunch of items and sites and everything. But this is a great example because this lets you control which sites it's displayed on. So if you have multiple businesses, multiple sites, then you can control them individually. So for this item, say I want to do it on um, this Palo Verde, this testing site. You can turn that on. And then if you just have one site, you'll just see one here. So you'll just have one to turn on. And then I'll control my site visibility. We can click here. And there's three options. There's visible, which means the customer can see the item, they can search for it, they can find it in categories, and they can buy it. Hidden means that you can do only the buy it. So basically you can't find it in search results, you can't find it in the categories, it's not listed anywhere on the site, but if you have the link for it, then you can purchase it. So that's great for like a member only item or something like that. Now, unavailable is you can't see it, you can't find it, you can't buy it. And if you do go to the link, then it just tells you, it gives you an error. And this is, of course, useful if you want to temporarily turn something off, but you just need to do that temporarily, or maybe it is forever, but you want to mark it unavailable. We'll mark it as visible, of course, because we do want to sell it. And then I'm going to go down. We have our ordering. We can set a limit on how many items of this item they can add to their cart for a single order. So like if we turn that on and we set it to say two, we can, and, and what this is doing is limiting, okay, they can only order two whatever item, a physical item, prepared food and beverage, whatever it is, they can only order two at a time. Next is our fulfillment, and we can edit our fulfillment methods for the item. So if this is a physical item, maybe we can do shipping, pickup, local delivery, or maybe if it's a food item, obviously we can't ship that, but we can do self-serve ordering. So it really depends what kind of item you're setting up, and that determines what fulfillment methods you want to enable. We can also control our search engine optimization so we can add an item name or co title right here now this is only useful if you want to change it from the item title so this by default uses the item name or title and the item description and then the item name with dashes for the permalink so if you want to change it from what's already there in the title and description then this is where you put it. But if you don't want to change it, you can just ignore this. And that's all the options for controlling the visibility. What I recommend you do is turn this on, turn it to visible, and then go try to find it in your site and make sure that it's working right. Now it might take a minute to sync, but you should be able to find it within just a couple minutes. So I hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions.